Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video is going to discuss installing the extended weldments library. If we edit a structural member and look at what sizes and categories are available for weldments, you'll see that uh, with the default library, there's really just five or six, so it's fairly limited. And then, you know, the sizes are only uh, uh, about three each. So it would be fantastic to have more choices, right? Let me go to 2013 here. This isn't 2013 specific, by the way. If we edit a structural member, uh, this release has had the extended library installed. Then you can see that there's many more choices here, uh, many more profiles. And uh, on top of that, we pick a new size that's been installed. Uh, you'll have uh, maybe 100 sizes. So how to get this and install it, if you go to the task, pane on the right and the design library is here you'll see this SOLIDWORKS content and if you look underneath that you'll see weldments now these are downloads and you would control click on these files to actually uh, you know save it out to your desktop and the next uh, and there's zip files by the way so you're gonna extract that and unzip that once you download it to where your weldment files are located Let's go back to SOLIDWORKS and look at where the weldment profiles are for 2013. If you go to Tools Options and you go to System Options File Locations, you'll see this little path here uh, for, towards the bottom, weldment profiles. Okay, so this is where we would unzip it to. Alternately, you could unzip it to a new location and add it here to get the same thing. So uh, anybody using weldments, I would highly recommend you just go, you know, download these libraries, pick the standards, any standard you potentially use, I would download. These are very large downloads, 30, 45 megs each, but it would be worth it when you go to work with weldments. Hope you enjoyed this quick tip video. My name is Tim Roberts. Thanks for watching.